guys I just downed my coffee and I thought it'd be fun to vlog the day because I have an exciting day I'm going to be taking my headshots for acting to use to apply to agencies I'm so excited I just picked out all of my clothes and put them in this garment bag I totally don't have a garment bag it's like Vicente's for his suit so I'm just borrowing it but it's bright and early it's 9 30 I started the day with hot yoga I'm feeling very fresh faced deep puffed all the things that I need to do to prep I did so much stuff this week to prep. What did I do? I had a facial, I got my eyebrows threaded, I got my hair cut and dyed. We got some fresh highlights in there. I'm going to a dry bar appointment to get my hair blown out at 11.30. And then what else? Oh yeah, then I just have my appointment at one. There's like a makeup artist there, so I don't have to worry about that, which is amazing. Right now I'm just in some comfy clothes, but I thought I would show you guys what I packed. So this I think I'm gonna wear there. This is like the only blue shirt I own, which is like kind of crazy because I really wanted to do one look. I'm doing two looks and I wanted to do one with a blue shirt if possible, if it ends up looking good to like compliment my eyes and really highlight those then it's gonna be like kind of hard to show you everything like all my options because i got this all zipped up but let me just like zip it real quick i got this maroon turtleneck i want my second look to be a little bit more edgy and mysterious i'm thinking something like a red i also got this leather jacket that could be an option to layer a pink shirt two pink shirts in case the blue one doesn't work out um because i feel like that's another like bright fun look this red top would go under my leather jacket this dress just in case it's just like from here up but i just like the neckline of that and then a black shirt just like in case nothing else works i have something super basic so those are all my options i'm gonna bring i'm only wearing two outfits though like that's all I'm doing. I'm just bringing a lot of options. Let me put this back. 1 p.m. seems so late, but like there's so many moving pieces that I gotta get ready before I leave. Also, I have to leave at 11 to go to my dry bar appointment, so it's like, it's really not that much time. Perfect. All right, let's pack my makeup bag because, okay, so there's gonna be a makeup artist there, but I feel like I just have some like very specific things that I want to make sure I have because like I'm so used to doing my own makeup and I feel like sometimes when you have someone else do your makeup they like they don't highlight the things you want to highlight so I have like a special mascara I just want to make sure I have everything so I don't need a face wash I might want to bring a little bit of a mouth wash just in case I will bring an extra pair of contacts just in case you can never be too prepared I feel like sometimes my contacts get really weird and dry and it's hard to be a human let's see what else I'll just bring this extra road peptide lip treatment. We'll bring deodorant. I'll bring a few floss picks because I'm gonna bring like a smoothie with me and I just wanna be, make sure I don't have anything in my teeth. I'll bring my eyebrow brush and I'll bring some concealer just in case. And then I'll also bring foundation just in case because I feel like my skin is very fair and I want to make sure we have the right match. And I'm like very particular about my mascara and I really want to highlight my eyes. So I'm going to bring my primer, my mascara that I normally use. Let's see what else. I'm also going to bring this, oh my god, it has like so much gunk on it. This redness primer because I have like red spots and I just want to make sure those are going to be covered. We'll bring some moisturizer, some eye cream. I feel like I don't need SPF. And I feel like that's all I need to bring, like extra. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. Oh, maybe some lip product. I feel like, yeah, I'll just bring some lip product just in case. Okay, but I feel like that's all I need. Yay. Okay, time check, it's 9.45. I have an hour and 15 minutes before I need to leave, but I'm gonna go run a couple errands that are totally unrelated to getting my headshots done today. But I need to find this check that I got for a social media collab that I did 
a while ago that I really need to cash in. I'm so bad, like I'm so used to e-deposits, so I feel like I'm so bad about like physically going to the bank and like cashing things in. I need to do that and I also need to pick up some prescriptions for this laser skin treatment preparation that I'm doing like right at the first of the year. I don't need to take them for a while, but I just wanna pick them up before the holidays and it gets all crazy and stuff. So those are my two little errands I'm gonna run this morning. Let's go. guys we have a change of plans <laughs> there's an indiana jones music in the background but crazy change of plans for the day i'm no longer going to get my headshots the session was postponed i got an email like 30 minutes ago when i was doing my errands that a member of their team like the headshot photo studio team tested positive for covid so they're canceling all the sessions today and postponing them until after the holidays so no need for any of this anymore i still have to go to my dry bar appointment because I can't cancel it it's way too late so i'm just gonna have a nice blowout for the evening and hopefully it'll last until christmas today's the 22nd so it'll definitely last till yeah till christmas that'll be nice to get my hair like nice and washed before I travel, I guess. So yeah, change of plans for the day. So now this is just gonna be like a random day in my life. I was gonna like center all of this around like following your dreams and like kind of like becoming an actor again, but now it's just a random day in my life. So we're here for the chaos. <laughs> Let's go to dry bar. From my blowout, I went to Dry Bar and I asked for the straight up, but with a lot of volume. I'm just like loving this voluminous look. Also, I'm loving my new hair color. I got my hair done in my last vlog, a couple of vlogs ago, if you guys haven't seen that one. And I got a little refresh on my highlights with a golden toner because I'm just, I'm trying to go for more of a gold look. I feel like I started dyeing my hair blonde in 2020, just like as a balayage, pretty minimal, but I've always been going for like super cool tones. And I feel like it's just like in the back of my mind, I was going for that like beauty standard that's like bleach blonde like cool tones and then I just kind of like started thinking a bit more about like what actually complements my like natural features better rather than just like this like cookie cutter hair color and I kind of wanted to try out this golden look and I'm honestly really loving it so I'm pleased with how this looks I'll definitely try to like get some photos later because I just like my hair looks good and it it never looks this good just when I do it. So I'm hoping it'll last till Christmas, but it'll definitely be like not the same. I'll probably like bring a curling iron with me on my trip. But yeah, it's 1.15 now. I don't have plans till 8 p.m. We're going to catch up with some friends that are in town for the holidays before we leave. And then Vicente and I are also going to a second city show tonight. So it's going to be a fun day. Now, honestly, I just have more time to like get my shit together today. That's what it's going to be. I don't have like work stuff to do today. So like we're just going to edit some videos. I think I'm gonna edit my YouTube video that I want to go up on Sunday to get that out of the way. I also just finished Matthew Perry's memoir. I've been reading that. I finished it while I was getting my blowout and it's like it's kind of a sad ending just like in light of recent events obviously with him passing away and everything and it was honestly an emotional read it's just like it's a tough subject matter of like him going through like all of his struggles with addiction and things like that so it's definitely a lot but i would recommend if you're interested in his life or if you know friends is obviously like a huge show if you liked friends i kind of want to rewatch friends i've never really seen it all the way through and i'm curious but that was definitely a tough read but i really would recommend it was like an important one and i feel like it really just 
just made me understand this sort of disease that I really don't have any sort of experience with or knowledge of at all. So yeah, obviously I don't like completely understand it, but you guys know what I mean. Like it, it really, it's just eye-opening and thought-provoking and definitely, definitely difficult. But anyway, I'm going to edit. I'm probably going to have my acai bowl now too. I'm a little hungry for some lunch, although we're not having dinner until like eight. So I'm probably going to have to have another snack or something. But anyway, <laughs> let's go to the computer. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this time to like get ready. I was gonna be rushing tonight to like pack and edit and like do all these things I probably wasn't gonna have time to do. So it's a little bit of a blessing in disguise. Now I have more time to get things done. I just got a bunch of editing done and I'm gonna pack for the trip. We leave tomorrow for a Christmas break is what I'm calling it. And I'm really excited to just like relax. I'm not gonna pack like too many like crazy outfits. It's gonna be a very chill week, so let's pack. I am all done packing basically. I got everything in this carry-on. We're checking a bag, but that's mainly for the gifts. I also just get so much anxiety with checking a bag. I'm like, I need all my stuff. I don't want it to get lost. So everything is pretty much in there. I changed and I'm about to do my makeup. I just have to add like my toiletry kits and stuff after I get ready for the night into the bags. So anyways, my brain is like not working right now. I'm low-key so tired. I don't know why. I ended up not even really doing that much today. Is sometimes when you're like not doing a lot you sometimes get like more tired but anyway time to do my makeup all ready for the night the makeup is done <laughs> but since he was like you've never been ready this early i'm literally ready an hour early i don't even know why i just i didn't have anything else to do so i got ready <laughs> i wasn't like scrambling i'm always like scrambling and so busy but it was fun taking my time this is the fit i don't know where this sweater is from i've honestly had it for a long time these are my polka dot tights and i'm wearing these old over the knee boots i haven't worn these for a couple winter seasons actually. I did not follow my rule of like getting rid of things if I don't wear them for a whole year because I haven't worn these in like two years, but I feel like they kind of were out of style last year, but I've like seen them a bunch this year and I just, I think they're cute and I think they look really good on like short people like me. So I like them and it's a super cozy outfit. Very Ariana Grande, circa 2015. <laughs> leaving happy camper it was literally so much fun it's raining which is kind of annoying because it's like an 11 minute walk to second city but we're going to second city i'm so excited we're gonna be a little bit no we'll be on time we were just planning on getting there a little bit earlier but we were just having so much fun it's intermission the show is so funny <laughs> Oh my god, it is so late. It is 12.42. I didn't even realize it was that late. That's insane. Way past my bedtime. And we have a flight tomorrow. We're going out for Christmas. I'm so tired. I can barely function. But we're going out of town for Christmas. So yeah, this was such a random day in my life. Happy Camper was really good. We got the Benjamin, which is like sausage green pepper and olives i think and it was so delicious and honestly the gluten-free dough was so good but sometimes it was like it didn't even taste like it was gluten-free which is a compliment yeah it was one delicious two it was so much fun to catch up with our friends i don't even know if i told you guys what we were doing but we were visiting chase and simone who if you're major ogs you know them but they're also probably watching this right now so hi 
<laughs> they watch my vlogs. They're like my, my only friends that watch my vlogs, which is just like so funny to me, but it's very sweet. So we were getting dinner with them because they don't live in Chicago and they're just here for the week for the holidays. So it was so fun to see them. And then Second City invited me to a show and we had it planned for a couple weeks and I've been really looking forward to it because I just love Second City. I think it's so much fun. Yeah, we went to the show called Oh, the places you'll glow, like a pun on Dr. Seuss, I guess. And it was really good. It was so funny. It was a lot more sketch than improv. And honestly, the improv bits are like my favorite part. Like when they interact with the audience, we were on the first row. So we were like, oh my God, they're going to like interact with us. They're going to ask us something. They're going to roast us. Um, but they didn't, which was kind of sad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to quickly do my skincare and go to sleep because we kind of scheduled this like really weirdly with not getting a lot of sleep before the flight. I think we fly out at 11, but like we have to leave so much earlier than that. So going to quickly try and finish up my skincare and go to sleep. This was such a random day. I know I already said that, but it really was. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey of a day. It was a fun day, even though it was like beyond random and ended up being unexpected, but it was fun to spend them with you. <laughs> so yeah, love you guys. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye.